Hello and welcome. This video will give you information about the outdoor education program for the 2022 school year for Lakeside Middle School and Tierra del Sol Middle School. Both schools will be going to camp the week of February 28th through March 4th. The camp is located in the Rancho Cuyamaca State Park out on Highway 79. It's a short drive from here and we'll, our students will get there in about an hour from when we depart. It's a residential hands-on learning program which incorporates the state science framework. It is operated by the San Diego County Office of Education and they've been doing this for almost 50 years. There is lots of information about the camp on the San Diego County Office of Education website. We encourage parents and students to check out the website and take the virtual tour. Friday, February 4th, all forms for camp are due to the schools, either Lakeside Middle School or Tierra del Sol Middle School. Friday, February 4th is the deadline for uh, the pink medical form to be turned in. You can find the pink form in either of the school offices or it is on the Lakeside Middle School website. The pink health form must be turned in for every student participating in camp this year. The other forms such as medical forms, do not need to be turned in right away. This will authorize the camp to give medications to your student. If you have any questions about the camp medical situation, contact their nurse up there. They are very helpful and will be glad to help you with anything that you need in terms of medical situation. The medical form only needs to be turned in for students that have medications. Please read the recommended packing list. It's, again, it is posted on the Lakeside Middle School website too. Pay close attention to the things not to bring. Students are not allowed to bring cameras or any other electronic devices to camp. Both schools will be departing on Monday, February 28th at about 9 or 9.30 in the morning. Students should arrive at school after school starts for 7th and 8th grade to avoid all the traffic problems. Typically, we encourage parents to stick around and wave as the kids leave and hang out with them in the auditorium while we're getting ready. But of course, due to COVID, we cannot have that at this time. If you do need to go to the office for some reason at Lakeside Middle School, please park up in the upper lot by River Valley. Do not block any of the driveways. We will be returning to LMS or TDS on Friday, March 4th between 12 and 1230. Students will not attend regular class for the remainder of that day and parents need to have their child picked up or make arrangements for them to be picked up. Encourage parents to send a letter or two to their students up at camp. Here's the address. They have a mail call. Um, it's great. Uh, kids enjoy getting the letters from their parents. If a student is allergic to anything or has medication, that is in the school office, they, it will not be brought up to camp. Medications must be turned in on the day of departure. If even EpiPens or any medications in the school office will not go up there. They need to be with, in a, with this medical form signed by the physician with the student's name in a plastic bag. Then we take all this and hand it to the registered nurse up at camp.
It is important that all items that go up to camp are clearly marked with your student's name and school on it. Ensure that the luggage is clearly marked and everything, um, including socks and things like that, are labeled. If you're considering having an ear pierce or a pierce of any kind for your child, it is not allowed one month before going to camp. All payments must be made by Friday, February 4th. Payments are made at the district office through myschoolbucks.com. Schools cannot accept payments. We do not know what the weather is going to be like in late February, early March, so please pack for any kind of conditions. It could end up being snowing up there. There could be a change of weather even midweek while they're there. So please help your child be prepared. Do not send your child's cell phone or iPods or iPads or anything like that. Cell phones do not get reception up there, so they're not, they don't work anyway. Cameras are great, but it is important that you get the disposable type in case they get lost. Students must be tested and have a negative COVID test 72 hours before departing. On February 25th, testing will be at the school by the company Inspire that does our district testing. Students will have to have a permission slip and we will get the results before they depart. Students will also be tested at camp midweek. There is a permission slip with a QR code that must be filled out and turned in with the pink medical forms. 